What a save from Mark Howard. Right, let's move back to goalkeeping then. From Reading, you've moved to QPR and Crystal Palace. And at both places, you had to fight for your place in yeah. the team. How is it being the person that goes in to challenge at a new club? It was strange, the move to QPR, because obviously being at Reading before, I'd worked with Brendan. Brendan was at Liverpool. And he wanted me to go to Liverpool. So I was... That morning that I ended up going to QPR, that morning I was about to get on the train to go to Liverpool wow. and speak to Liverpool and that. But then I had Harry Redknapp call me and I knew at Liverpool I wasn't going to go in and just play. He, he, he obviously couldn't guarantee me any football. Isn't, you know what football's like, you don't get any guarantees in it and that. But Harry Redknapp called me up that morning just as I was about to get on the train to Liverpool and basically said, um, I want you to come here. He'd obviously knew about, known about Liverpool and that and he said... I think you, there's definitely going to be more opportunities for you to play here. So it was it was a tough situation, obviously, working with Brendan, he's at Liverpool, or I read up at QPR. So I was literally stood at the train station with my dad and my agent, just going over it and over it and over it. And in the end, because I'd been playing at Reading, I wanted I wanted to sort of be playing. To carry on playing. To carry on playing. So I ended up going to QPR, having a look around there, speaking with them, and ended up signing there. It sounds like a lot of hindsight and a lot of regret in your voice there. I don't know, because th I think I always, I'm a big believer of things always happen for a reason. Um, yeah, it could have been different if I went to Liverpool and that, but obviously I went down the route of going to QPR. Um, I think it took me quite a while to get into the team there. And then I think it was, I think it was Liverpool, the game I played, and then I got injured that game. I come off the, I come out of the game with like a quad strain. So then I was out of the team again. I couldn't get back in. Rob was doing well. Um, so yeah, it was a weird one. Obviously, I had the chance to go to Liverpool, and in the end, I went to QPR. Um, I was there for a season. We got relegated that season, and then obviously, I went to Crystal Palace. I actually played against you that year when you was at QPR. I was at Sheffield United, and we played you in the cup. Oh really? Yeah. 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 I think I remember that game now. Yeah. I won't mention the result to you. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, that was the year that we reached the League Cup semi-final from League One. Yeah. So obviously it meant Clark, that we yeah. beat you. Yeah. 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 Um, just to bring that up, I just yeah. wanted to rub no, that in. Yeah. Rub that in. <laughs> I'm happy. But uh, yeah, it was a crazy season that season. Obviously, like, you had some unbelievable players as well, and some really high-profile names. Yeah. Obviously, Rio and stuff like that. Yeah, Rio was obviously there. It Bobby looked like Mora. you had a great bunch of it, lads it was off a, the pitch. Yeah, it was a great bunch of lads. I remember we had a um, we had a training camp in Dubai, warm over training camp, and it was just it was a great laugh for all the lads. Obviously, there was a lot of experienced players there, like you said, like Rio, Bobby Zamora, Joey Barton was there. Even like some talented players. Tarapt was oh, there, wasn't mate, he? It's unbelievable. One of the best players I've ever trained. With. Everyone says this. It, how good was he? You couldn't get the ball off him in training. He was just unbelievable. He wouldn't trap back, but going forward, he was unbelievable. Nico Crenshaw as well. Yep. Wow, what a player. So much ability. That, that, I don't know how, looking back at it, that team went down that year because it was such a, a good team. Yeah, I remember playing. Off I know that I said that we beat you, but you had some unbelievably yeah. good players. So yeah. And I think sort of. Everyone sort of played for themselves a bit rather than the team. Yeah, it looked like a, a team that all at different stages of their career yeah. trying to get something different out of what, yeah. what their reason for being there. Yeah, it, 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 it was strange we went down that year, but it was, it was when you look at like the individual talents, there were some proper good players there. Like Adele was like one of the best players I played with. Uh, and then obviously, then let's talk about your move to Crystal Palace then, following season. You went to Crystal Palace. Yeah. Uh, was that originally to, to go in and compete to, to play or...? Yeah, well, I saw, I think I went there and I I, I remember meeting up with them. Pre-season already started. I met up with them in South Africa. Alan Pardew was the manager and Andy Woodman was the goalie coach. And I knew Woody anyway before I went there. I knew of him and had little chats and that. So yeah, met up with them in... South Africa, done pre-season there, then came back and we started. The, I think I start. I'm pretty sure I started the season. I think you did. Feel, yeah. It feels forever ago now. Um, they and, roll into one yeah, every season. Yeah, ended up ended up playing about. I think it was like six, seven games in that. And you know, it was just weird. Like you know, how things don't go your way. I remember. I remember one of the games we were playing Liverpool at home, and I've gone. I've gone to clear the ball and had a freak moment where I've literally just slipped. And then I can't, balls obviously got fallen straight to them and they've gone through and scored and that. Um, it, it, it just felt like when I was at, at Crystal Palace, 
everything sort of went went against you. The harder you, you tried, the less it, fell for yeah, you. Yeah, it just it was just hard work. Sometimes when that happens, especially in a goalkeeper's career, you need that manager to just stick by you, and you'll come through it because they all know that you're yeah. good enough and you're plenty good enough. But it's just what you need to be someone yeah, to just need, have that faith in you. You need an, an arm around you yeah. and that. And yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really feel I got that from Pard. Um, so yeah, that that was that season, and then obviously from there. I'd obviously worked with Dave Watson at England and he gave me a call up in the summer and said, look, do you want to come to Southampton? That must oh, have been we'll a great call. He'd to obviously, he'd, obviously he's, Dave had spoken with like Charlie Austin because I'd been at QPR with Charlie Austin and that and, and asked what I was like and that. And, but to get that call that summer from Dave, because you know when you're not happy in a club and you, and, and you, and you just want to move on and that, it was, it was perfect for me. What a save from Mark Howard. 